Hey there YouTube, this is the Red Storm Warrior here, wanting to show you some progress I've made. Uh, also, really great mod pack, single player commands. I'll put a post in the description. You can do s so much with it, not even exaggerating. Uh, this is just a quick little computer I threw together. It's something I designed uh, a long time ago, when I first learned how to... When I first learned Logic Gates. Uh, that's not what I've been working on though. Uh, here is what's going to go into an 8x8 screen. It is 4 bytes of 16-bit RAM, and it will take some basic wiring, but not much, to hook it up. It is... forgive the lagginess. Uh, it is going to hook up to this small thing. It also allows, The mod also allows you to speed, which I love. Here is the uh, area I'm going to show it in. And here's the screen. It is, it's black so you can see it better. It is 8x8 and the RAM you just saw is going to hook directly into it. I'm, uh, it's nice but it's not the full size screen I have. There's a much better one. Let's fly out of here. It has to be dark otherwise you don't see well. What the actual goal of this small screen is, is to get a program called John Conway's Game of Life to run. It is something you can see an example on YouTube already of a specifically made or a machine made specifically for it, and it's pretty neat. I'm hoping that I can use my computer to run it. I made more ROM. Uh, I'll show you the big theater next. Turn off flying. A uh, lot of input. It would take uh, 32 bytes of ROM. RAM to run it, meaning I'd have to have two giant towers which go to this guy. I'll show you that later. Uh, it goes pretty far back. Here is the big feeder. Let's fly up to the top. There's a staircase here, so you can get a nice angle for viewing. And here it is. Here's what I hope my final screen will be. At least this size. It's pretty big. Very nice. I like the way the... It looks like a rectangle at this angle. It's pretty good. Really black theater. Not recommended for any mode above peaceful. Really dark. It's a neat screen. I hope to be able to get it on. Nope. It's getting towards night time. It's set to data. Yes, this mod is completely a cheat, but I'm not playing Minecraft, I'm trying to make a computer. Eh, I, I am, but never mind. Here's the input for the smaller screen, the 8x8, which is in, in here. It's on the other side, and as I said, here's the RAM which is going to hook up to. Each one of these buses control two tiers of the 8x8 screen, and they're going to converge and go into there. Uh, other things. I made my... I made, hooked up most of the wiring to the RAM stack. I still need to control the clock. Uh, otherwise, in terms of outputting purposes, it's done. It's RAM, 16 bytes, 16 bit, and there are 16 bytes here. And I can copy and paste it. So I can get lots and lots of memory. Cheap. It's just that, but different. Uh, oh yeah, I was also experimenting with other screens. I don't think it's going to come out with much, but... Red, blue screen. Red, blue, green screens. Like, here, I don't know if you can tell, but... There's actually a red hidden behind this door here. So if I were to do something, say, that... You can now see that red. And if you go far enough away, it might start to you know, resemble different colors. And I can choose between red, blue, and green in each area, but I'm not sure that you'll be able to make out images in it. So, these are just tests. These are all, I can hook these all up with time, but I haven't, have, I don't have any assurance that's going to be nice yet. Like, uh, the theaters show me that the screens will work well. Uh, there's a design for hooking 
these up as small as possible. So, uh, that is pretty much it. I highly recommend single player commands. You can do just about anything. Yeah, pretty much. And I'm almost ready to uh, hook up this. And, yeah, that's it. The, I need to hook up this. It will take uh, anywhere from a half an hour to an hour to, to, to an hour and a half. An hour and a half is like extreme most, but... Uh, yeah, I'll hook that up. I will put inputs. And I estimate if I want to get all this uh, RAM installed, it would take about three hours for, for me to hook up the screen, get the RAM installed, uh, and get the necessary ROM, ins ROM installed. Well, this is the Redstone Warrior saying uh, thanks for watching, and more to come.